We've committed one of the biggest sins when it comes to anime by not watching all of these classics. And even worse, we've put ourselves on fraud watch by uploading two different quiz videos, Nano. The people did not like me, bro. I said code Geass one time. One time, bro. They took me out forever. It was a joke. I've never watched it. And even that... Even that is a pretty big anime sins. But anyway, we are key moments. I am Dadodoya. That is Nanogenics. Nano, go ahead and introduce yourself. How do you feel being number one anime fraud of all time? Hang on, wait, why am I number one and you're number two? Uh, bro, you, you didn't know tie for number you, one. You didn't know what Beyblade was, bro. That's yeah, we could tie for number one because you you knew some stuff I didn't know, but it was a bad look Dude, still. Hang on, let's go back to that Bay, that Beyblade question. So obviously, if you're not familiar, Dotto and I took a quiz and it was just you had to type in the names of the anime that we were like a, a screen share of it or the title card or whatever. And I did not, I could not think of Beyblade, but there was one I was thinking of and I swear there's another one. Is it called like like Bakugan or something like that? Does that sound it familiar? Is, <laughs> that was one of the funniest comments on the video, by the way. I got to give it up. Uh, I can't remember your name, whoever commented it. But somebody said Nana was very clearly referencing like Baku um, something something, which is basically the Japanese name for Beyblade. But you were talking about Baku gone, <laughs> which oh. is just a completely different media. But I did like somebody try to give you some extra credit points. Let me look that up, actually, while you uh, you keep spitting. I want to see what Beyblade in Japanese is. So what what we really thought would be fun today, because uh, I don't really know what all anime that Dada was watched. And he, of course, doesn't know what I've watched. <laughs> and just to get you guys on our same page, we thought we would list off the anime that we've actually seen. So it definitely is a little bit uh, exposing ourselves today. Just just a smidge. But, just a you know, smidge nothing nothing outside youtube content guidelines yeah 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 it's just like <laughs> i think it just gets everyone on the same page and it gets you guys inside our head and a part of i, I had an and ulterior go motive ahead. yeah go ahead peel behind the curtain a little bit i like that to do this to watch more anime and to discuss oh. more anime oh I, I thought you were going to tell them that we wanted a uh more current up-to-date podcast oh. to release you know something uh, something because uh, you know, we mentioned this a lot. Our Dragon Ball Z rewatch series that we've got going on, obviously going to continue. But, uh, you know, we're scheduled out into November, like middle of November. Yes. Uh, so we wanted to hit you guys with a quick update. And, you know, to thank you. Patreon's going well. YouTube, Spotify, everything's going well for Key Moments. Key Moments Industries at an all-time high. So thank you all for that. I did want to address yeah. this really quick. So since Key Moments is so new, and especially as this video goes up, or this podcast, this video, all that goes up, uh, if you cannot find it by searching the name Key Moments on Spotify or on podcasts, wherever you listen to them, just search one of our names, search Nanogenics or search Dada Doya, and it should pull up Key Moments because I think that's the more recognizable, you know, name. Like not too many things out there yeah. are Dado Doya, but and not too many <laughs> things out there are Nanogenics, but you start putting in that's Key Moments true. and it wants to think like Kim. Yeah. And then yeah, Moments. We gotta Bro, like, we gotta we gotta win the SEO ladder. We're still competing at this yes. stage. It's gonna take some time. Oh, one more bit of housekeeping. One more bit of housekeeping. I didn't do a good enough job in my video, at least, making sure that people knew that the podcast itself is very much free. It's gonna be on YouTube, Spotify, every platform. Oh. Go there, subscribe. People were like, "Hey, man, the Patreon." Um, you know, I was wondering if you'd ever consider doing like a YouTube channel or a, a Spotify thing. Oh I'm like, no! I, I was like, "Oh, brother, the Patreon is you get all the bonus stuff." Don't yeah, get me wrong; those are the those are the key members for real. But you know, it's it's <laughs> elsewhere as well. It. If you're more, uh, you know, somewhere else. Also, Nano. The, so when you were doing the Beyblade thing on that quiz, you were like, "Ah." It's Baku something, Baku something. The the big hardcore fan thought you were talking about Bakuten shoot, Shuto, Beybredo, explosive, which is explosive shoot Beyblade in Japanese, basically. You look like the most hardcore fan. You were like, ah, ba Bakuten, Bakuten. <laughs> <laughs> Bro was thinking of Baku God, by the way. But, oh my gosh. Which what is Bakugan? Is that even close to the same thing at it's, all? It's I mean it pretty much is. It's another like children's collectible game. I was super into it as a kid because this stuff was hardcore. You basically you get these little toy creatures. It's also a card game, but they're metal cards. You place them down and you roll your Bakugan and if the magnet lands on the metal card, it'll open up into a monster. It's actually really cool. Okay. Um, but obviously it's more expensive and those toys were a nightmare because once they're off, you have to close them up. I remember I broke so many of mine trying to close them back up. You have to tuck the wings in. It's tough, but I love Bakugan actually. What are you going to do? You got to give it your, uh, 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 it's, it's pretty sick. Okay. So, okay. So I wasn't like out of the realm. I mean, not the you, same you were, at all. You were, 
And also it's a very, very incredibly funny misunderstanding on that part, thinking that I was uh, way more big brain than I actually was. So huge. It would have been a crazy big brain play if you wrote in Bakuten shoot. I guess um, just to I guess just to come back to Patreon really quick before we do move past that. Uh, massive oh, thank you to everyone. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's supporting us over there. That's absolutely incredible. Um, I obviously the reception that has been a lot better than I even could have imagined. And uh, if you're curious, the Patreon. So everything is obviously free. You can listen to it, listen to this everywhere as you already mm -hmm. obviously are. Mm -hmm. But uh, the Patreon is literally meant so that you get the rewatch episodes a week early. You get our actual reactions to the episodes. So you can rewatch. Dragon Ball Z with us. That's kind of the point is to rewatch Dragon Ball Z with us. And you can literally watch it with us, literally, if you're a Patreon member, because we're right there with you. You can hear us probably saying things you might not like, saying things you maybe do like. You're like, why did Nana <laughs> have to say that about this scene? That's one of my favorite scenes. I can't believe he's he's making fun of this. You know, it's just part of the it's part it's of the experience. Just, you know, Nana's a loose cannon. He, we call we do call him the Maverick over in the Patreon comments. We call him the Maverick yeah. of Dragon Ball. That's that's definitely uh, you know, a thing. Over on the Patreon, you also get some bonus stuff. Just and that's really random. And maybe, you know, me and Ed will talk about it. maybe a QA. I think that'd be fun. And it's pretty uh, low maintenance. That's pretty easy. But Nano. Do we want to talk about our anime list? Because mine is pretty pathetic. We want to we want to put ourselves on even bigger me, fraud watch. Let me count how many I've got. Now I I will say that I I'm only counting stuff that I either, I either got like deep into, watched a full season of, like, you know I I'm not. I think if you I think you and I both probably have a much longer list if we count like things we watched one episode of. Like I've watched yeah. What is um what's the anime that is they they're eating food and they're like having orgasms at the same time what is that uh food wars food wars it's, so like it's got a bigger title but i think food wars yeah, yeah so i like i've watched like two episodes of that you know random stuff like that and by the way that was a that was a suggestion and my wife is very she doesn't watch a lot of anime and that was just a suggestion for one of my friends is like yo try this out and she's like what are we watching because we watched that like in bed and like uh, one night and she's like what is what is going on and i'm like <laughs> Why is this the anime that we sit down to kind of watch together? You know what I mean? Like of all the that, anime that, that I've got that on my list, miss. that was um, you know, was, no offense to anyone out there that likes Food Wars. It was just like that's probably not the someone that doesn't watch anime. I don't know that that is the thing that you first introduce them to no, anime I, with. You know, I, I mean, I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and say it. That is definitely not the first one you introduce people with. Um, and, <laughs> and for a more normal person, maybe maybe the list never even gets there. You know, maybe it never even gets to Food Wars. Uh, but yeah, no, if we're counting one ofs, I mean, just through the art of being on the internet or watching TV, I've probably seen a lot of one ofs and my list is not necessarily every anime I know, like, uh, an anime like Bobo, 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 or whatever his name was. I know of that very well from Toonami ads, commercials, jokes online, but I, I've never even seen the show. Maybe one episode, but I was very confused. My, my anime are like. If I've watched it to the point where I understand the storyline or remember some characters, I'd put it on my list. Or, I mean, to get on the list I just made on my Crunchyroll app, I titled it, you know, Stuff I've Watched, maybe with a worse word. Uh, I'm looking at about 14 anime I could remember off the top of my Wait, head. Wait, right whoa, now. whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, well, hang on, no. <laughs> I only got to 14, it's bro. I only 14 got to 14. Because, Dada, we got we to gotta both start this with the obvious ones, okay? This is my. I don't know, man. I, I don't know if it is. Well, no, 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 no. I, I, this is the obvious ones I feel like for us. And this is always my, this is my meme. Anytime I'm on stream and people ask me like, Nana, what all anime do you watch? And I'm like, I've watched four. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. That's that's four anime right oh. there. To be fair, I didn't I didn't count it like that. I I just did Dragon Ball as a franchise cuz otherwise then my list is starting to look more impressive because <laughs> I would also have Naruto, Naruto Shippuden and Boruto. Uh so my I list would, well, my, would be Boruto for sure would be separate from Naruto, right? No, no, no. Surely. If I I actually did list that as separate uh because okay. that's true. I would count that as separate and, uh, you know, I will take the added points. So also, you know, down below in the comments or wherever they can comment, uh, maybe not so much for the audio listeners, but no, no, you I, can I would be now. down on Spotify, to see. You oh, you can, can comment. I'm pretty positive. Ooh. You can comment like on Spotify. I don't know about Apple and some of the others, but I know for sure on Spotify I was on there and I was like, oh, you can comment. <laughs> like that's, that's crazy. I definitely want to see what they have to say there. Cause I want to know what, cause I definitely could be forgetting stuff. I, I in fact, I know I'm forgetting stuff. 100% same. Yeah. I think that also shows the integrity of a list is the stuff I can remember. You know, that says a lot. Cause when I talk to like, 
high tier anime fans, bro, the ones that wouldn't be on Fraud Watch like me and you are, they can name <laughs> off things watch. for hours. In fact, they enjoy it. They love talking about that stuff. So, Nano, what's a what's a, is there something on your list that would surprise people? Let's start there. Is it, you got any surprises on that list? I think the only singular surprise for wow. for my list, I only have one. I'll be real. I think the rest are are kind of like very typical especially especially some of the more of the meat of my list but would be a nice little anime called wolf's rain okay that is very what what is wolf's rain about i've never heard of that in my life so it's, it's it's really short and i've always wanted to do a, a i wanted i've always wanted to rewatch it because i've not seen it since i was a kid um or younger but essentially like wolves are or were believed to be extinct and so they have to disguise themselves as humans and when the end of the world, ha I get, you know, this is so bro. Like dude, it's been, it's been a <laughs> while, but I, it's on my list because it is one that I think about, and I own it on Blu-ray. Like when so I then, when I got older and got my own money, I was like, I gotta own this because I liked it a lot. Anywho, um, well, uh, except for the ending, but basically, like apparently, wolves are the only when the end of the world happens. Wolves are the only ones that know the true way to paradise. I think is what it was is what they would say, and so like. And are they, uh, are wolves human or are, are is this like a, a no, term? No, wolves or? are wolves, but they <laughs> oh, okay. have to disguise themselves okay. as humans. Okay. So and how do they do that with costumes or with like shape shifting? Are they uh, werewolves like, or are these just normal wolves? Like shape like shape shifting. Okay. 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 It is again my the memory of this. That's about all I could tell you, other than the ending, because the ending left such an impact on me. Damn. It, it was, was one huge. Of, it was one of the, well, because it was I was probably like ten when this came out. And so it was like a, it was like a, a true like mind fuck. Like, oh, it was wait, like okay. Crazy. So, so I kind of want to go into spoilers, but maybe not. I, I guess because I know when what stuck with me as a kid was this like, uh, you said the ending of the world, they know the way to paradise. Was this an anime where the world like ends at the end? Is it over for humanity at the end of this? I don't want to. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what happens, bro? This left an impact on you. Uh, Okay, yeah, I guess I guess spoilers for this show, but it doesn't it doesn't spoil that much. Uh, it loops. Oh, it's got a loop. Yeah, <laughs> that's sick. Okay, I can see why yeah. that stuck with you. That would it's, that would mess me up. And so, and it's it's only like a twenty six episode or twenty four. It's like a one season, one and done thing. Like it's not something where you have to like commit heavy to it. Like it's literally just twenty something episodes, but it loops. And so that like, I don't know why, but that just that one always I, stuck with me. No, that's sick. I mean, I I love those kind of storylines, man. Like I I like when it's something like that. Like uh, what was it? This is not anime. <laughs> it was Shaw, not Shawshank Redemption, but what 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 was the Prison Island one? So, so I was Stutter Stutter. Come on, bro. Sh Shutter Island. Shutter Island. Shutter Island. That that was like that was like my loop story. I was like, ah, oh, damn. I was no like, way. This that is crazy. I've, that's, that's been on my watch list for so long. That that's a looping movie. It's a looper. It's, it throws you for a little bit of a loop. It's, but you wouldn't even knowing that it's like, it's still a great movie. People, people should watch that one. Yeah. People should watch that one. It's Leo, right? That's Leonardo, right? I think so. I think so. I feel like that sounds, that sounds right. It well, does so sound what, right. Okay. So what's one on your list then that people wouldn't expect? Um, I have, I have a few wild ones because when I was losing weight, um, a big strategy was just like, all right, man, I, I just got to distract myself with anything. So I was like, all right, let me check out crunchy rolls, like seasonal stuff. So this is where, like, I think the most wild one here, which again, it's not too wild would be a Haran san wa Haka Renai, which is the Japanese type. I just called it a Haran san, which is basically the whole gimmick of the show. Okay. So um, what was it about? So this was a run of the mill, like romance style anime uh nothing exciting happens but this a lot of romance anime by the way this is speaking directly to anime fans is they all have one gimmick they all have one joke if, especially if the title's based around it it's one joke the entire way through so aharin san's one joke was that aharin is this girl that is very very quiet and then most of the comedy from the show comes from the guy who i think was named reiko or something um and he is just like he makes like he interprets things like wildly, like he thinks things through wildly a lot. Like if a Haran-san comes to class with like crazy hair, he'll be like, "Oh no!" Like she could not sleep at all. Like maybe she's like a murderous like 
assassin, you know, working nights, like that kind of shit. Like, and it's all the same joke all the way through, but it was just funny enough for me to stick with it and finish it. Uh, Not a great show or anything. Yeah, it's not not exciting, um, but it was mildly funny sometimes. Uh, You know, got a (laughs) laugh out of me once or twice. Um, And the characters were like, uh, yeah, again, Reiko, the main dude, he was a pretty like, he's like a that's that's me kind of guy. Like, he's like, Dan, that's so me. That's me for real. Okay. Um, but he was funny. Uh, the rest of the show, I have a few more like that too. Like another show that would technically be on here is, again, and this is what annoys me about anime like this. Another one would be Shikamori's Not Just a Cutie. That was another romance anime that was airing at that time. The whole the whole gag is <laughs> honestly, it is like the softest man imaginable. Like if a conservative dude saw this show, I think they would die from a like a brain aneurysm, bro. Because the dude is like. <laughs> He has the worst luck ever, which that could be a funny gag sometimes. He is the worst luck. He is also like super, super effeminate effeminate dude, very quiet guy. And then his girlfriend, Shikamori, is like Giga Chad, plays every sport, Um, also like a trained killer, like is everybody's bully. Um, But I will say the dude does pull bitches. That is a storyline is like, bro cannot get away from women. Uh but again, very bo- again, not a show I would say I'm a fan of, but it is one that I mildly watched all the way through because I had nothing else to do. So those two make my list as probably the biggest surprise. Okay. Yeah, I don't have anything like that on my list. Like not a I would say the closest thing to something like that would maybe be like Re Zero. By the yeah, way, how do you I, say that? Do you say R E Zero or Re Zero? Re Zero, which is also on my list. So I, I, that's when I've only watched like part one of season one, but I enjoyed so much and I don't know why I didn't go back to, but I really enjoyed that show. But like everything else, there's not much like on my list. There's not much romance to any of the, any of the, <laughs> any I of wouldn't, shows for me. I, I wouldn't have guessed that, you know, I would not have, uh, I wouldn't have guessed that romance would be a big deal, but re zero. Let's talk about that one for a minute. Cause I, I love the idea of re zero. I would say, you brought up looping stories or something that stuck with you. I, and I think it comes from the fact that we, I play games. I love stories like, especially like live, die, repeat. I was just tomorrow. about to say that. And yeah, tomorrow. I tomorrow. love, I love storylines where a main character just gets their shit pushed in and they basically just become the guy just because they've lived that life so many times. Like, bro, this is my millionth time on this day. I, you could throw any punch at me right now. I know what you're thinking. I will dodge it. And it, it, I love storylines like that. So ReZero hit that in my head. And uh, I think that's why I could stick with it. Although I will say uh, that does apparently register as an isekai anime. Uh, but it, it, I don't think that matters to me. Is that a genre you like? I don't think that meant anything to me in ReZero. No, I, I was I was like it had me hooked from the very first episode for the same reasons why you just said like Edge of Tomorrow. Like they've been talking about making a second movie to that, which I, that is actually based on um, is that based yeah. on a manga. It is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, And so I've been like waiting for a sequel to that with bated breath. I don't know that they'll accomplish what they did with that first movie, which, by the way, is a I you know what? I'll go into it. Yeah, I'll go into go, it. Really go, quick. Ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. My experience with that movie is unfortunate, but a memorable one. I needed new tires on my car at the time and I had no one to come get me. And this is also like Uber. I don't know. Just the idea of Ubering. I, di- I didn't want to do it. So, and I stayed at a Sam's club. I was at a Sam's club and I watched that movie on a couch under like a, I was, I pretty much went and hid myself in a couch, like on the bottom shelf, but it was like behind another couch and it like reclined. So I was reclined Damn. in a Sam's. In, in, a, in one of the Alway things, watching that movie on my phone with headphones. That was <laughs> how I bro watched was relaxing it. at the Sam's Club. That's how I experienced that movie. I wish I would have watched that in a theater, though, because that movie was that movie was sick. Um, but anywho, would love to see them finally get a sequel to that because Emily Blunt like was awesome. That movie. T- Tom Cruise is awesome. That movie. But anyway, I think yeah, that movie was so funny to me because. I think I watched it day one because, again, I like storylines like that. So I saw that and, you know, me and my friends happened to be next to a movie theater. I was like, let's just go and see uh, Live, Die, Repeat or whatever it was called. Because I don't know if you know this, but this is the only movie in my time of of being an active moviegoer that they, bro, they hit us with the YouTube special, bro. They did the me and you. 
Did, do you know that they dropped the movie under a different title and it bombed and oh, they changed it? Yes, because it, it was dropped- either I think. I think it was live die repeat right or live no, die. No, so that that was the that was the YouTube title refresh. It came out as oh, Edge of Tomorrow. And because, really, I and yeah, because I guess it, so. Because it bombed, it then switched to live die repeat, and then I think there was even one more name somewhere in there that they they tested as well. Because yeah, it, it released as Edge of Tomorrow and then came back out as live die repeat. I that was such a I I thought it was funny. I don't think it. It needed the title change, uh, but I did think it was just hilarious that they were like, because I, I know that feeling, bro. I've been there before. I'll drop a video and be like, yeah, I probably could have. Uh, let me change this title real quick. 100%. <laughs> bro, so I, I have, uh, you know, all the love in the world for that, um, for the people that had to make that tough decision to change the name. Been Dude, there. Apparently it changed names three times. So we, we didn't technically ever get it out, but it was initially called All You Need Is Kill. Which is yeah, the name that's of the, the manga? That, yeah, that's the manga. Then it releases Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah, and I told you it releases Edge of Tomorrow, and then Live Die, and oh, then wait, it no, became no. Live yeah. Die Repeat. Yeah, dude, that's like, man, I, I remember. Again. It was basically this is like an example of people thinking Westerners are super stupid with this stuff. And to be fair, I actually kind of agree with that opinion when it comes to some stuff. But so I agree. All you need is kill. Probably not a great movie name to bet on if you're trying to be an investor. Edge of Tomorrow and Live Die Repeat are the exact same. It's just market, just market the movie better at that point. But Live Die Repeat is basically them being like, all right, bro, Americans are so <laughs> stupid. The guy lives, then he dies, and then he repeats. Please come to the theaters. <laughs> I remember that found me when I heard they changed the name. But ReZero also, maybe you can appreciate this as a Dragon Ball Z fan. The sound effects go crazy in ReZero. The, bro, I, I just love the sound effects. No, yeah. The sound effects are so good. Dude, how, you saying that makes me think, what is that, an, speaking of Dragon Ball and very anime inspired, what's the anime that did, ReZero doesn't have a come on me high in it, does it? No, I don't, well, no, I don't think so. Maybe? I don't know. Like, I, I, no, no, no way. Not, I, that's that's definitely not it. But there, there was a, and there was an anime more recent-ish within the last like few years. And I don't think it was season two of ReZero, but someone drops a freaking comment Kamehameha, like an actual Kamehameha, like... They say the name? Yes. Like they say, oh, then no, it was definitely not ReZero. Okay. Because um, that would be oh, something I would it was reincarnated remember. as a slime. Oh, Which, yeah, I haven't watched that. But that's one of those where I've only seen like a few episodes. And and that was uh, that was due to my my gotcha game uh, problem that I have. And it was coming out as a... a uh, well, actually, I watched ReZero because of a collaboration with a gotcha game too. <laughs> wow, man is addicted. Yeah, and, and they did a, a reincarnated as a slime. Or no, reincarnated as a slime was going to get a, a dedicated gotcha game. And so I watched a few episodes. What? Bro, these... I, sometimes I just gotta wonder, like, what is the line? Like, there Dragon isn't Ball. One. There is Dragon one Ball. Here. I totally get. Honestly, the this is where we're gonna disagree because I think the 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 most you could push it. I think Seven Deadly Sins, which actually is on my list. Seven Deadly Sins is as far as I'm willing to go. Like, Seven Deadly Sins barely, barely crosses the line of being able to be a gotcha game for me by this much. Just not something I I see as like. Do you have the characters? So what was really cool about Grand Cross specifically, which is the Seven Deadly Sins gotcha game, I think that, that that game pushed a lot of people to watch the anime because in, in the case of that game, that game was actually just really good as opposed to, I think, something like, and this is no offense, but you take you take Dokkan's general gameplay and apply it to nearly any other anime, and I just don't think it's near, is anywhere near as, success, as successful. Like, it is absolutely carried by the IP, but I think Grand Cross was the reverse, Whereas actually Grand Cross's gameplay carried the IP because Seven Deadly Sins is is fine. Actually, I really enjoyed Seven Deadly Sins season one and two. Like season one and two, Seven Deadly Sins goes like crazy in my opinion, which again is another one on my list as well. But season three lost me. Like I thought about picking up the manga just so I can like know the story and understand like what happens. Um, but I, like I just they they lost me with the the production of season three. Like I just I couldn't I couldn't stand. <laughs> Like, and I'm not even that big of a person that's like stuck on. Yeah, like, we talking animation. about seven deadly frames at that point, bro. Like, that was ridiculous. All right, uh, we're back. My internet is terrible on this setup. I gotta figure that out. But hey, anything for this beautiful background? You know, I got this this nice tree behind me, some vines. Wow, wow. <laughs> anyway, 
I assume you were saying that Seven Deadly Sins, you wanted to read the manga because that anime got atrocious. Yes, yeah. And was also saying that Grand Cross actually, I think, carried the game itself actually carried more so than the IP itself. Because again, I guess Seven Deadly Sins has got some okay characters, but it's not like it's just not like the 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 depth of the roster, basically. Which I also, to give them credit, the crossovers I think are where more anime should do it like seven deadly sins c can get its own i agree you know i think it po crosses that threshold but giving them like you know the attack on titan collaboration like attack on titan i don't know if i would play an attack on titan gotcha game i don't know if they got the depth for that or at least characters that i would be interested in fighting you, as. you and a lot of people dotto because i still to this day have an attack on titan game saved on my ipad that has been long shut down but it has one of the best in my opinion, menu OSTs ever. And I've never deleted it, even though the servers have not been live for coming up on, I think three years. They have tried multiple Attack on Titan games and I think they've all shut down. <laughs> so you Damn. you and everyone else. <laughs> so. I think it's just like, I think that distinction for me is like a character thing and also like a tonal thing. Like I also feel bad for anybody that might've signed on for Attack on Titan game rights only to realize that after like season three, it's a political show. Like it's, it's not really about yeah. giant monsters and sword fights. It's like, no oh, man, it's about the suffering of humans. Damn, this sucks. But, but there could be, a really I mean, cool, I'll take another attack on Titan game. I was gonna say, there could be a I'll really cool like game. RPG like game based around like, Oh, easy. Imagine a you persona can even set it before like a persona, like a persona with all the like, different conversation and branching like uh storylines. And it's like, setting the attack on Titan world that'd be really cool yeah like uh honestly like a shadows of mordor could go kind of hard too like having those com oh, like companion system yes. that goes that crazy and then they could just get axed by a titan that would go for, I mean, that, that's a game i would play um but yeah no i i think those those uh gotcha games they gotta they gotta reel it back in a little bit i'm going to my list again uh, I do have another romance, one more, two more romances that I actually think are really good. Okay. Low key, I kind of think these ones are actually really good. The other ones before, I've watched them. I know the characters. I would not recommend them to anybody. Uh, well, I mean, I guess if you need something to watch, sure. But my dress up darling was actually kind of cool. Um, and and Tony Kawa over the moon for you. These are two surprisingly good shows. Um, my dress up darling was more just that I think both the characters were really earnest in their depictions. They both just very have strong hobbies and want to do them, which I thought was cool. Uh, and Tony Kawa, I just thought it was kind of like, I don't know. It was like fun. It was like very, this is the only thing I would describe as wholesome. And then that, like, that's a good thing. Like, this is not a Reddit moment where I'm like, oh man, that is so wholesome. I love puppers, man. Like. <laughs> No, I would say this show is actually wholesome. Okay. It's basically it's basically about a moon spirit that it doesn't really matter that she's a moon spirit. She's basically just a human. And uh, this dude that she saves his life, jumps in front of a car, and he's just like, you know, I kind of love you. And she's like, well, only way I'm dating you is if we get married. He's like, bet, let's get married then. Uh, and, and so they just get married. And the whole show is proving to others that they are not a dysfunctional relationship, basically. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was actually wholesome like that that's how i would describe the show it was funny and very low stakes very very low stakes okay I, again i, I have, I I have none of those it. to contribute which makes me i knew i know about my dress up darling though i do know about that yeah one. that one's more like internet famous and also that one is not wholesome i would like that one definitely has some fan service in there which i'm not super into fan service in anime uh but i more so just like the characters which sounds crazy, bro. I, I look, I can't be on fraud watch and weirdo watch at the same time, bro. But <laughs> believe me when I say I actually watched it for the plot, I actually watched it for the plot. Um, but that's about all the surprise. You got any sports anime on your list? Now? Any sports anime at all? Un unfortunately not. No, I've always wanted to watch honestly several of them. And I've been thinking about getting into, uh, is it blue lock? Yeah, that's the soccer one. Yep. Yeah, I've been thinking about watching that one too. And then and then the, the basketball one that everyone always talks about as well. But yeah, I've never seen the basketball one or the the soccer one. I haven't I but Blue Lock is like, you know, I might as well watch it or at least read it now, bro. I've seen the TikToks like a million times. So. Yes. Uh only sports anime I have is the very, very basic one. Um Epo, 
Okay. Hajime no Ippo. That's the only one I got. Only only sports one I got. Uh, and I think, is that all my surprises? I think everything else that I would say, people would be like, yeah, okay, dude. Like, get in line, man. Yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah, my, li my list right now is... I'm like, dude, this is, it's such surface. I feel like it's very surface level. Like when you, when you talk, it's like you mentioned earlier, like when you talk to someone that's like watched a lot of anime, all of these would be just incredibly surface level. These are all, these have all probably aired on Cartoon Network at one point. I, I actually think. <laughs> that's how I'm feeling pretty much, honestly, with the rest of my list. Uh, do you just want to read yours off? At yeah, this yeah, point, let's and then yeah, we can here, get into anything. Here, yeah, let's, um, how about I just read all the ones I've watched off and then we can we can come back and then you can read all yours and then we can like make a comeback just so we have them nice and okay, like okay. concise, right, yeah. you know? So Our full okay. list. Yeah, so obviously Seven Deadly Sins and I, again, the first two seasons of that really enjoyed. Death Note, that was a more recent-ish one. I did not watch that when it was like blowing up and I remember having friends that were like downloading episodes off forums and stuff to watch with like... Mm. Like they had, they had like to get subtitle packs because they were trying to watch like early. I, I do remember that. <laughs> Not uh, damn Rumble Pack, Demon Slayer. Oh, that's a. I actually forgot about that one on my list. Let me what? Add that real quick. I forgot. Wow. Bro, I kind of forgot. Uh, you, you know, Cow Cowboy Bebop. Uh, that's in everyone's list. Um, Attack on Titan. An another just you know such surface level. MHA, which I'm not. 100% caught up on My Hero Academia, but I've been there since 2012 watching it, and I need to get back it, to it. It, it. it counts. It counts. It, yeah. And then uh, Gundam Wing, which I've watched like random one-offs of other Gundam ep uh, series, but Gundam Wing specifically, like there's literally... You're watching the video version of this. He's got a poster. Uh, I, I, well, actually, it's a display. Oh, never mind. Pointing no. at something else. Uh, no, that's a, that is an entire... I waited years. So Gundam Wing was stuck in like probably licensing hell and there was no way to get it on demand except through either old dvds or vhs's which people were like they knew they had gold basically so they were charging like a ton and so when this came out i don't know six seven years ago uh for like under 200 dollars to get the entire set and came with a bunch of cool collectible stuff i was like all over it because there were points where they were selling one volume of it which is only like six for eight episodes for like 200 dollars. so uh, that was a that was a, a big one for me. Just Gundam in general. I played a ton of of Gundam games growing up, and so um, like I've watched a lot of the, like the Gundam movies as well, like Shars Counterattack and stuff like that. Anyway, Gundam was a huge portion of my like childhood. Um, Yu Hakusho again, very like that's just such a a lot of people told me I need to watch Hunter Hunter if I enjoyed Yu Hakusho. Ooh, that which, one's good. Which is one. Ironically, I, I have the I've, I'm the opposite, bro. People tell me I have to watch Yu Yu Hakusho because I liked Hunter Hunter. Okay. Okay. I've never seen that one though. One Punch Man, <laughs> like like. Ooh, that's you know, a good one. I've never that's seen one season I two though. I've only seen season one. I've not watched season two. I I've only ever seen uh, season one of that of that show. And then from there, the I've got like I wanted to include a few, so my list felt a little longer. But I've got Trigun, which was very a very in and out one for me. But I watched a lot of that mostly because my mom watched it. Uh, my mom would casually watch anime on Adult Swim, like on Saturday nights and stuff. And that would, Trigun was one of those. And so her and I would watch that together on Saturday nights. Uh, but could I tell you much about that show? No. Like, again, it's like, it's like, it's like with Wolf's Rain, like that one. I remember, I think like portions of it just because it just stuck with me, but like Trigun, I'm sure that anime is really good. And if I sat down and watched it, I'd enjoy it, but there's nothing that stuck with me. Like I couldn't tell you, I've seen probably 50, at least episodes of that show. Couldn't tell you anything about it really. Um, and then Mob Psycho, I'm like decently into mob Ooh, and, uh, that's a good one. I've enjoyed my time with it so far. And then Jujutsu Kaisen, which I am actively in the middle of watching. Like that's my current like watch when I have time to watch an anime like at lunch or at night if I want to watch one in bed on my phone or something like I'm watching JJK so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you know we might be doing something with that yeah, later we, you know on the very bag we don't we might we're we definitely might. doing something with JJK for sure uh, and that's my list that, that's it's that's very, your list it's very short well let me let me go back let me I want to add ReZero because I watched that I I want to add Wolf's Rain while I'm here just doing my full list and then the the four Dragon Ball series which again full transparency there's probably episodes of OG, Z, and GT that I have missed because those were all enjoyed via watching after school. <laughs> so, um, uh -huh. and on Cartoon Network. So just being fully transparent there. As we do our rewatch, especially of Z, there will be episodes that I've never seen. As a matter of fact, maybe we've already, we, we've already rewatched I'm sure them. there's going to be episodes that I've never seen. <laughs> <See>. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, well, I, a lot of the filler uh, escapes my mind all the time. <laughs> yes, exactly. So that's uh, my list. Donna, let's hear yours. I would say your list actually reminded me of a lot of stuff. Uh, like Cowboy Bebop, for some reason, I don't, I didn't have that on my list. But I did add it because I own the Blu-ray for Cowboy Bebop. Love that show. Anyway, my list. Let's uh, wrap it up. I got Dragon Ball Super. Well, that includes Z, GT, Dragon Ball. Watch every every bit of Dragon Ball. Even the, uh, I've checked out Heroes. Not really. Heroes is so bad to me. Yeah, I, dude. When people want to bring Coming in, Nano, number two, those? we got Re Zero. You know, got I got to write that one down. When people want to bring up say? Heroes to me, they're like, "Have you watched here? Have you watched the latest Heroes episode?" I'm like, "No, no, I, I don't care. Like, I literally, you, you don't understand. <laughs> I do not care about Heroes. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's some cool forms, and they've done some cool stuff with animation over there, and, and a few of the episodes. But I just, I just can't, I can't, I can't bring myself to care about Heroes like at all. No, yeah, I, I would agree. Dragon Ball Heroes is like, if it's not. The thing about GT is at least it was on the same trajectory, but mm -hmm. Heroes is just like not even on the same remote timeline. And I'm a big person mm -hmm. like a show has to have like stakes for me to be interested. So Hero exists totally nowhere. Like if Goku dies in Heroes, that means nothing to me that like actually less than nothing. <laughs> uh, like I'll watch it if it's cool. Like I've seen the hearts battle, bro. Yes. I've seen the hearts animation a million times. Uh and I'm glad it's happening, I guess. And I'm glad they have a game around it, but not for me. Not really my thing. Uh, back to the list. ReZero, Aharon Son, Dress Up Darling. My Hero, I'm pretty, I was pretty into My Hero. I definitely think My Hero Academia, I don't know if that series played its card right. I think it went on a little long, um, uh, but I think it, it could have gone on longer. I just think they, they, uh, I think one of the one of the anime seasons was so bad that I think they fumbled what it's could have the been anime a very season popular I'm in the middle Dragon Ball show. You're 100 percent referencing the the season of the anime. I think I'm currently trying to like dredge through because like I literally was so tapped in. There are so many peak moments for me from MHA, <laughs> like I, that that I I genuinely would put you know and again take it for what you will. Now that you've heard what all what all anime I've watched for the most part, I'm sure there's some I'm forgetting as well. But like, I don't know. They they at the current moment that I'm in, they have fumbled MHA for me. But I'm sure if I will just get through it, I've heard that like there is peak on the other side. Like that there is in fact very much so a lot of peak MHA moments if I can get through where I'm at right now. So that's what I'm hoping also to get through that's that's all my that's i've got a lot of anime on my list but internet issues again but let me take some time to say how much i agree with nano when i was watching that my hero season bro i was i was asleep at the wheel bro especially because like i can't even remember his name now it's been so long oh lemillion i feel like they did not do his episode justice and then right after that they got right back in people people will say like oh it's my hero academia you gotta have some episodes about school no, no, man. Find another way. Like, make it quick. Make it something else. I don't care. I don't care. Get back to the big stakes. The Go, big showdown. Do, doing the festival stuff again was just, and then having that, like, I don't know, man. And and again, I know there are a lot of people that really do do probably enjoy those moment, those moments of them doing like the music and stuff and performing the music. But that's just not for me. Like, I'm not. That's not what I'm trying to get anymore out of this series. Like, you can't, you can't have me going to like. CD destroying levels and Deku going full cowling against um, overhaul and stuff. And then bring me back to school festival, like read the room in my opinion on that. So, yeah, I, I got to agree. I think it, and just the popular, I could tell, I go off Twitter. I feel like the reactions to new, my hero stuff on Twitter really died down as that season progressed. Uh, but it's still on the list. I still keep up with it. I'd still, you know, I'm tapped in. The anime is going to come back uh, with the right stuff. I'll be tapped in again. Attack on Titan, obviously huge one. Uh, Ippo, uh, Tony Kawa, Yu-Gi-Oh! Big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! And that includes the anime, actually, up until 5Ds after that I dropped off. Uh, Vinland Saga, not one that made your list, Nano. So that is on the list of, that like, must-watch for me. I, I have, that is on my, like, must-watch list for sure. Yep, Vinland Saga, good internet cut, by the way. Damn. Dr. Stone, huge fan of Dr. Stone. Uh, again, I don't know if I'd recommend Dr. Stone. It's very interesting, uh, but I like it. I got, like, really absorbed into it, uh, and I think it's just kind of like, it's like science 
scientific fun. Somebody described this to me as Breaking Bad, but anime. Okay. That's not true. That, no, no, no. That's not true. That's a horrible way to explain it. That's like, that was so surface level, bro. If you say Dr. Stone is like Breaking Bad of anime, you are literally just seeing like science gets mentioned in Breaking Bad and science gets mentioned in Dr. Stone. That is the only correlation. I would Breaking even... Bad is like a, a drama. I was gonna say I wouldn't even say that the whole like making meth portion of Breaking Bad is even it, like that big of a of it, it no, no, at it's, all. It's a it's a minuscule part. Maybe in the earlier episodes it's slightly bigger. Like he brings up more of the components of making meth, but that is yeah. because he is actively making the meth. Like, T tell me you only watch season one of Breaking Bad without telling me you only watch season one of Breaking yeah. Bad because it becomes so much. They don't even focus on that at all after reading all. season it, one. It it's really about the makes, business. It's more running a business it's, than it it's is. It's like business. It's like drug. It's like personal drama. It's like a. It's a thriller basically. It has nothing to do with science outside of like maybe some minuscule mentions and the periodic table on the intro. But <laughs> Doctor Stone is more like every episode. Senku will use some contraption. And he'll be like. I got to make some soap and soap is made with this component and this component. We can find them in this component, which, so that actually is very fun. It's still a fun show after that demon slayer, cowboy bebop, chainsaw man, uh, and then mob psycho. That's my full list. Um, and that's I'm sure there's that's more. It. That's it. But that's, but all that's I got. like the list that comes to mind. Essentially. But essentially what about, did you say Hunter Hunter? Oh, Hunter Hunter. That's true. I forgot that one on my list. Is that on Cruncher? It is Hunter Hunter. That's a big one. Uh, but I really do think outside of me, I'll give myself a window of six. I may be forgetting up to six shows. I really do not watch that much. <laughs> Wait, so have you not seen Death Note? No, not, what? not, not all the way through. Everything I know of Death Note is because it's so popular that I've seen those scenes, okay. but I know L I know Misa Misa. I know light and Ryuk and I get some of the schemes he gets up to. But I actually got very much embarrassed. I didn't say this on a Three Idiots recording, or maybe it wasn't a recording, but Ryan was like, I was like, ha ha, I write my name down in the death note, and then I like, I accidentally die, ha ha. And he's like, you pictured your own face. Apparently, there's more rules to the death note than I thought. Apparently, you have to write the name down and picture the person's face. I did not know that. I thought it was just writing their full government name down. Uh, so a lot I don't know about that series. That's um, that's interesting. Okay, I definitely would have pegged you as someone that had at least seen Death Note because I feel like I'll I'll say this. Whenever I look at my my list, like I think that these are the ones that basically everyone has seen. Like minus uh, maybe two. These are the ones that like everyone has seen. Like you didn't mention a single Gundam. You've not watched any Gundam. No. Are you not a big Met guy? Is that like I would say I would say that's the kind of my opposite. I would say I have a hard time with Mech stories because, um. It, it's a very childish thing in my head, but anybody can fly the suit, you know? Like, that's how I see, like, like when you talk about, like, a Gundam character, I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. And it's even a big thing for me. Like, maybe you'll remember when we were playing the Gundam game together or talking about Gundam, I was like, wait, so everybody flies one of these? It's not like, it's not Char Zaku. It's just this is the one that Char drives. Okay, but okay, Zaku's whoa, whoa, are whoa, 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 whoa. So, but but Shars is still different. He has still different gear and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. And, and I like think the that, but the pilot still does matter. Like when you think of like, have you seen Top Gun Maverick? No, oh, but God. I have seen the first Top Gun. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what I'm saying, this has always been a storyline I struggle, like That's... resembling. It's also the reason why I suffer with RPGs, like traditional like multi character RPGs, is because I need to connect to one per. Like I need to be that guy. Okay. Um, so, and I agree with you once I, like, if I, if I knew more about Gundam and watch it, I could probably get into it as long as like Shar Zaku needs to be different from other Zaku's. Otherwise I it really is, get it, in my it, head it, it and it I'm is. just he, like, he has substantially different gear. Like it's a very different model. It's well, it's the same model. It's a Zaku too. It was depending on, but anyway, uh, and he has several specific, specific models to him of the different, uh, suits essentially to the to the different the anyway yeah so. I, that's something i need to see because it's like to me it would it's the same as if you took everybody in jujitsu kaisen gojo's really cool right but if i took everybody in jujitsu kaisen and put them in the same looking robot i would lose interest in the series because now it's not about them to well, me okay. it's about whoa, whoa 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 but they they're not the same robots though because like in in gundam like there's 
there's all kinds there's all kinds of different robots and especially the gundam specifically yeah. are unique you're aware of that right like each gundam is yeah unique. E each gundam is a different like bill but like um something that when i was playing the game my favorite character was uh what was his name i can't even remember you're talking about like, the super basic model unit yes i know what you're talking about <laughs> yes i was like yo who drives my he's guy like, who drives he's like my the guy soldier 76 of <laughs> yes. uh, of that gundam game <laughs> yes and i was like yo who drives my guy because i i was like actually getting into the game a lot so i was like yo who is the character that drives my guy because i'm trying to get into it it was like bro yours is a bot yours is fodder and i was like ah. Oh. Yeah, you yeah, you're the you were the infantry model is what you were in essentially. Yeah, that was that was crazy to me. And I was like, "Oh, man." Oh, so Damn. that like so that, that like took it away from you. So, okay, so it, let's say what would be your top 3 then? Like if you like of this list of of what you've you've mentioned here, what would be your like top 3 anime? Dragon Ball Z, Naruto Shippuden, uh and probably Hunter x Hunter now. Okay. Or Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I guess it depends if like if we're just talking about the show oh, you itself, say, you, you didn't say Yu-Gi-Oh, did you? Yeah, I, I I mentioned it towards the end of my list. I said Yu-Gi-Oh and up to five Ds is where I'm cutting that off. I've I've seen everything up to five Ds. Oh, okay. That may have been again. If you again, you've probably noticed this. We had some internet issues throughout. So we I, had some internet issues. It might have been during the thing, but it might have been during that. I, well, okay. I got I could list Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. Then I've not seen like past OG oh, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh, but I've seen those. You know, like I've that. Yeah. I'd, I, I'm weird. I don't Pokemon count those usually, list. even though I guess I, they are I technically. agree. Also, I will add, again, if you're counting like four kids stuff as anime, technically I could also add one piece to my list as long as we stop it where the what where the four kids stuff stops. Because <laughs> that's what I was watching, bro. I love four kids. Uh, but if we're just talking anime itself, like the show, not enjoying the outside property. And honestly, if I'm being completely honest, Hunter x Hunter was very good for me, and I admitted that it probably would be a lot higher if I, if there wasn't a nostalgia factor. But even without that, Dragon Ball Z and Naruto, and then even with that, if we space it out, my top 10 list would be Dragon Ball Z and Naruto, and then other stuff. Like, it's crazy. Even GT would rank above something like Hunter x Hunter because I get to see Goku do his thing. Yeah, so that anytime I typically Which do is, these... Uh, I, I purposely leave off the Dragon Ball stuff because I'm like, it's not fair to anything else because none, no other, no other really IP has ever been what Dragon Ball has been for me. You know, like there's no character like a Goku or Vegeta for me and pretty much anything else in, in anything for me. And I, I don't know, like getting to see Goku and Vegeta just do stuff. And, and th I, again, this, this sets the tone, I guess, for where you can find out where we're at or where I'm at. But like Goku and Vegeta doing stuff is always is almost always going to trump nearly anything else for me. Like I just want to see them do cool stuff. Like that's that's kind of like where where I'm I'm at. So I try to almost omit them. So like let's let's omit Z. Like don't omit anything Dragon Ball. Where does was your list go to? Uh, my top three without Dragon Ball included would probably be not. Let me open up the list here. Probably Naruto. Just any Naruto, because that would be my next Dragon Ball, to be honest. Uh, so let me challenge, let me challenge myself. Let me move Naruto off the list because it, it has a similar feeling to what you said. Basically, okay. it's like put Naruto and Naruto characters doing anything, and I'll probably have a good time. I, I think without um, internet issues, by the way, you would probably ask me why the the Naruto omission. And I feel like there's, I feel like I want to address this really quick because I feel like that's such a ahead. common one with Dragon Ball fans. I am actively reading the manga in order to pursue a potential series with doing something with naruto so i'm currently in the mm. middle of the tune-in exams with that so that, that's a massive omission i think for my baby's first anime kind of list uh and i'm trying to actively fix that at the moment so anyway sorry go ahead no naruto no z what's what's the top three uh i'll put hunter hunter number one because i really got addicted to that show really bad when i was like and i'm not gonna lie i watched episode one i was like this show is ass and I moved on. Six months later, I came back and was like, let me try it one more time. I, I watched it in three days after that. So what? technically, it took me seven months to finish Hunter x Hunter because I watched episode one. Six months went by. And then I watched episodes two through the end <laughs> in like three like days. like 100 plus? I was addicted. I, w I stayed up to like 6 a.m. watching it. And then okay. like, again, it was very, very hard. It felt like there was never a good time to put it. Like My Hero Academia has the opposite problem. There is always a good time to put down My Hero Academia in the season you're in, Nana. You finish yeah. one episode, you're like, whoo, damn, maybe I'll come back next week. But like, I don't know. I'm good. This is a good break. 
Hunter Hunter is like after episode one, it's like, fuck, when am I going to have a good time to come back to this? Uh, it just doesn't exist. Uh, so uh, my top three, Hunter Hunter. Uh, I, I, bro, this is hard without Dragon Ball. Uh, you know what? I will put ReZero because okay. I really did like it, even though season two was so confusing. I feel like they lost the plot in season two. I, it, it, this was this is so hard because now I'm not sure. Do I want to say like Demon Slayer? Is that too basic? It feels too basic. I don't really even. Oh, uh, wait till you get my top three. <laughs> Man, I, I just don't know what I put there. That this is like this is something that I hope this pot. Oh, Attack on Titan. Uh, no, 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 Attack on Titan, uh, Hunter Hunter, and then do I want to go with Re Zero or do I want to go with? I'll go with Re Zero, bro, just to be a little different. I'll go with okay. ReZero just to be a little different because I really did enjoy season one that much. Yeah, so my my list would probably have to be Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer, and Yu Yu Show. Yeah, I'm glad I remembered Attack on Titan. That would have been a I, I didn't want to say because I didn't want to influence you because I was like, I don't want to say Attack on Titan while he's like, because I mean, you and I talk about Attack on Titan a lot. Attack on Titan for me, yeah. and again, uh, and I'll say, I don't care. I don't care to say this this deep into this podcast. I still have not seen, I don't know the ending of the show. I don't know. I don't know any of that stuff. So I'm like waiting. I've been a full on anime watcher since it debuted 10 plus years ago uh, and have managed to avoid most spoilers for the most part. So we will, we will find some way to be doing, we will be doing an Attack on Titan finale, like episode Absolutely. special, all of that, because I'm very amped up to finally see the end of this show. And that specifically, I just want to spend just a little bit of time on AOT. Specifically, that show for me, as someone who hasn't read the manga and I'm been a pure just anime experience, is just so well done from story to OST to, of course, you know, there's obviously a little a little weirdness with people and you know the switch from uh, Wit to Mappa, but like it's been just a very consistently well produced show as well just from all angles in my opinion so all of that combined and and especially the ost i can't i cannot stress that enough the ost has probably helped push this into being my favorite anime outside of like everything else i listed here and and, and dragon ball but like the ost goes so crazy like i am constantly listening to that ost like it's almost a problem at how much i probably listen to uh like shout out samuel kim like he does reproduction of a lot of the osts They've got that one like 30 minute, 20 minute video of them performing a lot of the songs live. Like I, the OSCs of Attack on Titan do a lot for me, but the story as well is just so, it's been so incredible. And just this 10 plus year ride of watching that show has been amazing. So that's my, that's my number one for that's sure. My, that's my number one as well, to be honest. I'm glad that's I crazy that. that you went from talking of Hunter Hunter, not even putting Attack bro, on Titan on the list. Uh, you're saying Attack on Titan is your number one it, too? It, 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 because it is, bro. And honestly, it's admirable that you were able to stick it out and wait for the manga the whole time because I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And I don't necessarily regret it because honestly, keeping up monthly with the Attack on Titan manga and like doing the fan theories, like I was so bad for me that I was doing... I was thinking of fan theories myself. I was on the subreddits. I was on Titan folk. I was discussing it. Okay. And it was so bad that I would go to YouTube. I would type attack on Titan chapter, whatever the new one was coming out next month. And then I would go to search and then I would have to sort YouTube by new videos because I had seen them already. So I would what? go by new and there are, there are tons of attack attack on Titan manga creators that I can say that I'm technically fans of. Cause I watched most of their videos during this time, but they have maybe like 50 viewers and 10 subs. <laughs> it, it was me, bro. It was me. I was in there. Wow. And they would be like, wow, was this going to happen? And I'd be like, maybe, dude, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> that, huh. It was yeah, it was I, a blast. That is that is a part of me almost ha does want to become a manga reader. And, and on, some of, on some of these series, just because I do feel like the discussion is much more rich around the manga due to the fact that it is happening prior and that's like that's the initial the initial wave like yeah there's still some discussion when the anime drops especially in, in attack on titans case yeah but it's not it's not to the level that i see people discussing it on the manga because when the manga has already come out there's you don't there's not much discussion about what's going to happen next because the manga is there the 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 literal resource for where the entire story is pulling from is already happened <laughs> yeah, so there's like no the, theory the answers are actually there. yeah there's no theory to it. So I guess like I could see that being, but to experience everything firsthand 
in fully animated form with the soundtrack with the incredible voice actors um which also too like i guess another thing to add here attack on titan was my first like true real sub experience like i didn't watch too much stuff not from completion uh subbed because until attack on titan was one of my first like breakout series uh to getting me back into anime like i definitely went through a stint that's why like naruto is on my list and like bleach and some of these others that were really popular like from probably 05 to like 2010 or something like that because i really just that was my like te- my initial teenage years into like almost 20s and i just worked and i just didn't have a lot, a lot of time to watch anime so attack on titan was my gateway drug back into anime which i know i've not watched a ton of it since then but like that was the thing that got me back in anime my friend just kept telling me you got to watch this you got to watch this you got to watch this and i watched it and i was like okay yeah i'm back and that was when, that's also <laughs> that's what brings back. me into mha that's that's how i got i was because i was watching some attack on titan i was like okay mha here it's here let's go. <laughs> what is this um, yeah no it it so. was a crazy good show. It was crazy good. Uh, ironically, for me, Attack on Titan does represent, and d- this sounds crazy to say because Attack on Titan's really old now, but I was an anime hater. Like, I really did used to be, like, when I say that we are, I consider us normal people, is because back in the day, anime was not so culturally accepted, I, I would no. say. No, and I think most people, yeah, I think that's a, that's definitely a given. Like, anime, anime's popularity post-pandemic and everything is is actually kind of insane. It's insane how mainstream anime is now. Sure. Yeah, it's like, and I was never like a bully. I'm not a bully, but I was a kid that knew that if you talked about some anime stuff that you were seen as weird, not that I judged others, but literally like I, my, one of my friends, this, this girl that sat at my table in uh middle, like no yeah, middle school, like sixth grade. She was like, yeah, I watch black Butler and I pretty much only talk about it to you. Cause you know, people don't understand what that is. I was like, I don't understand what that is, but that's cool. You know, I watched dragon ball Z <laughs> and she, she was the first person that basically all the comments under the quiz video nano is what she did in real life is she would be like, yeah, I'm watching black Butler and Orin host club. And I, she was like, are you watching anything new? I was like, yeah, Naruto. Th- <laughs> did you know they're making ship it in? <laughs> uh, but that's basically how I connected. And then I went to anime club cause, um, you know, some of my friends were in there and they were like, all right, this week we're talking about something new. I was like, I'm going to go watch the Broly movie on the computer. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> so that that's what I mean when I was normal. So my friends were watching Attack on Titan and I was like, oh, brother, an anime. Wow. Look at him crying, running away, getting bullied because Armin was getting beat up. Oh, okay. And then like the Titans kicked down the wall and people were screaming and getting eaten. And I was like, hey, man, what was this show called again? <laughs> I was like, let me let me watch this for you. I was like, all right, I can watch this. Um, so it got me into anime in general at a more wider scale than I was. Um, but yeah, I, I love the, the fan, the fan theories and stuff. I don't regret it, but that was, that was pretty much our, my list, I guess. Attack on Titan. Number one, easy. It's yeah. The goat. Yeah. No, same. I didn't, I didn't have to think about it. I just, yeah, that show in particular demon slayer as well. Just a note on that really quick. And I've mentioned this to you several times, but season two, I've not watched season three. I know that sounds fake of me. I, th- I kept holding That's out on crazy. season three because we were we were producing this podcast and I didn't know when we were going to go live. And I thought we might do something with season three in terms of content. By the way, that bites me in the ass all the time. Like there's so many games that I thought I need to stream this and then I never stream it. But then I also never play it off stream. So I get stun locked on it. Like like Spider-Man Miles Morales. Like I'm incredibly excited for Spider-Man too, like most people. And I've never finished Miles Morales because I started a playthrough on stream and I keep thinking I'm going to get back to that. And now it's been three years. And I've never picked it back up to continue. And now because of the way VODs work on Twitch, like my, it's all lost to time, like my technical playthrough uh, on stream. But it's the same thing with Demon Slayer season three. I kept thinking like, oh, we'll probably do content with that. So I, I'll wait, but I'm now we're not. So we probably will pick it up maybe when the next season comes back, but I need to watch season three now. And uh, so I can be completely caught up. But season two of Demon Slayer is probably one of my favorite seasons of any show ever. Like it, it just felt really, it felt like it's such a nice compact experience it was fairly fast paced and um it's blanking me right now donna what is what is the name of the hashira from season two that would be tengen izui okay yeah so he he specifically i think also helped me enjoy season two so much i just i felt like i had to mention demon slayer at least a little bit for it being my number two and then i think you hawk show pretty much explains itself it's a it's a classic Dotto, which I think you should watch, especially at least up until the dark tournament. Uh, everything after that gets a little, a little fuzzy, a little fuzzy. But oh, oh brother! Internet issues aside, I enjoyed Ooh. this episode of Key Moments, and 
I thought it was important just for people to understand that this is not just literally a, a Z rewatch podcast. We will be talking about more anime uh, and, you know, just things need to, things need to start like kind of rolling out. We're not just going to, you know, break into something mid season and all of that, but we're, we'll have some specials coming out. We have some fun stuff dropping over there on the Patreon, <laughs> patreon.com slash key moments and right here. And I'm just happy to get you guys an episode that's more current because the Z rewatch again, already a ton of episodes coming your way. And I'm very excited for you guys to see this. And I just appreciate everyone that has supported the podcast so far. We're literally just one week in, and it's already more than I could have ever imagined. So thank you guys. Check us out over on Twitter. You can also follow me and Dotto. We have our respective channels, Nanogenics, Dotto do it pretty much everywhere. And Dotto, can you hear the music? Oh, I can hear that jingle, and it is Ooh. jingling. Wow, wow. Ooh. I'm sure we'll dive Ooh, into the anime and our broader a broader strokes of, of different anime and another podcast sooner than later but today internet all that you know what it's still a fun episode and we'll see you on the next one we're out bye <laughs>